Hey guys, so for today's Halloween video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this peacock makeup. And it's a little bit more creative than just putting on a mask and your outfit. So to start off, I'm going to show you the hair. I'm just spraying some dry shampoo in my hair. And my face looks really disturbed because I literally hate the feeling of dry shampoo on my scalp. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. So yeah, then I'm just going to brush it out. And then I'm teasing my hair. So I'm starting off with hairspray and then just teasing sections of it. And then flipping it back over and making sure I smooth it all out. Because even though we are going to be a bird for Halloween, we don't want our hair to be too much of a rat's nest. So just continue to do that all around the back and the sides. And then flip it over and smooth it out. Then I'm putting my hair all in a ponytail and taking the tail end of my comb and lifting the hair up to create more volume. Then I'm taking the ponytail and wrapping it around itself and securing it with a hair tie and then just pulling it apart, making it looser. It's kind of like the bun that I always do on top of my head, except this one is lower. And then I'm pulling some pieces around the side out because I don't like my hair all slicked back. And then I'm just bobby pinning it into place. So that's all I did for the hair and it's super easy. I just wanted it all out of my face, but I still wanted it to kind of be done. Moving on to makeup, I'm just putting on my foundation to even out my skin tone, and then I'm going to start drawing the mask. So I'm using NYX Wonder Pencil just to kind of outline it because it's a lot easier to take the Wonder Pencil off than a black eyeliner. So I'm just starting out around my eyes to kind of carve out the cutouts of where my eyes are going to be, and I'm kind of making a wing, actually two wings. At the ends of my eyes and you can't really see it that well with this but once I outline it in black you'll be able to see a lot better so I'm making the eyes more of an almond shape and then I'm just making the wings on the ends then I'm just making the outline of the mask around my face starting at my temples and going around my nose all the way up around my forehead you can use a stencil too if you want but I just kind of freehanded it you can get go to Google and type in masquerade mask and then just print it out and trace it around your face.
once again, I'm using the BH Cosmetics palette. I love this palette for Halloween makeup. And I'm taking this black eyeshadow and a smudger brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and smudge out all the lines on the mask. Because in the end, I don't want it to look like I drew out the mask. I want it to look kind of real and look like it's almost a stencil or something on my face. So this does take kind of a long time. So if you're going to do this, just keep that in mind. But yeah, just go over all the lines and smudge it out because we want it to look all one and we don't want any splotchiness or chopped lines or anything like that. So then I'm just filling in all the empty spaces with a black eyeshadow and I have no idea what brush this is so you can just use a flat shader brush or any brush you have and don't be too crazy with the empty spaces because if it doesn't blend right away right now that's okay because we're going to go in with other colors and by the time we're done with this whole process it will blend I promise. So I just left the spaces on my nose white and then also around my eyes and I don't know why I even did that around my nose but I just felt like animals always have like weird, not scales, but you know what I mean, like little textures on their skin so that's why I left that out around my nose. And then I'm just taking that smudger again and smudging out the lines even more and I go back a couple times throughout this whole video just to smudge it out and blend everything in because once again we want it to look like a mask and not like I just drew it on my face. Now I'm just going back in with another brush and that same black eyeshadow and smudging out the lines even more and I'm mainly fo focusing it around the outside because I just want to blend it in as much as possible. going around all the spaces I left blank with a white eyeshadow just to brighten it up a little bit and then I'm going in with this green color from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just blending out all the lines around the outside and this kind of creates some dimension so it's not all black you kind of see other colors in there too and then I'm also going around and blending with the same green shade around the whole mask so it's kind of like a green black color now so this just helps to blend and then it also creates some dimension next I'm using this NYX pigment in the color jaded green and I'm just putting this all over the mask once again to create some dimension After lining my upper and lower waterline with my L'Oreal Smoldering Eye Coal, I'm taking this teal color 
and smoking it up with the eyeliner on my upper and lower lash line. And I just think this is a really cool, easy, smoky eye. And then I'm taking a light brown shadow and blending out the edges a little bit more. And then I'm taking these eyelashes. They're by Wet n Wild and they're called Mysterious. It's part of the Halloween collection, so I don't know if you can still get it after Halloween. But how perfect are these eyelashes for this look? I can't even take it. There's like feathers on the ends. So then after I put on my eyelashes, I'm putting on this NYX Glittery Roller Ball. And I'm just putting it all over the mask. It just creates a little bit more dimension. And I think it looks really cool. And then for lips, I'm using this Tarte Lip Crayon. It's just a nude color. And then of course, I have to take it one step further and put some blue on my lips because it wouldn't be my Halloween look without putting some eyeshadow on my lips. I don't know why. I just really like how it looks. And then I got this package of feathers. It comes with a peacock feather and then green and blue feathers from Joanne Fabrics. And I'm just cutting it to kind of fit my face a little bit better. And then using eyelash glue, I'm just fanning it out across my forehead, kind of like a masquerade mask would be. And I'm just sticking it to my face. So that is my finished peacock um, Halloween costume. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to try to cram a little bit more Halloween tutorials in before Halloween. So keep on watching. Bye.